All right, so today, do a couple things. I got this grill kit here. Um, it's got all the tools and everything you need to use the flat top and the stove and the burners and all that. It's pretty cool. So I just dropped it, but I, I'm gonna go pick it up and I'll hang it up. Um, and then I got uh, got some fire extinguishers because you know safety first. I got the uh, the kitchen fire extinguisher for grease fires and things like that, and then I've got a couple of regular fire extinguishers for uh, for the rest of the tent. So let's uh, let's see what's in this kit. All right, so this is the Born to Grill griddle tool set, 15 pieces. Uh, and here is a uh, carrying bag for all of this stuff. This is uh, to clean the flat top off with. We got a couple of uh, square bottles to go uh, for your sauces and or your water if you want to melt some cheese. Um, this is a pair of tongs, little basting brush. This is the uh, the cheese melter. So you put this handle on here. Spray your water on the grill, set this over top of your steak or your burger or whatever you want to melt cheese on or, or partially steam and it'll steam it. We got a baker scrape to scrape the grill down with or you can cut dough, whatever you want to do with it. Um, some, um, some egg rings so you can make a egg McMuffin on the griddle. Or, you know, if you're cooking for your sweetie. We've got this, uh, this heart-shaped egg. Uh, we've got a uh, perforated spatula. Another scrape. This is like if you're making fillies or whatever, you can chop it up. It's, it's a little sharp. Scrape it around. Another small spatula and a couple big spatulas. So, I think that'll work out good. I uh, think I'm gonna get a box with a lid and put it in that uh, that little cubby hole that's down there. I think that'll work good. I got the grill set put up in the kitchen and I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with the results. I got some lumber out here. Next thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna build an outhouse. And uh, it's gonna have a bench, it's gonna have a bucket and a toilet seat. And uh, the outside's gonna be uh, the first because the wood it's gonna, it's gonna look really cool. The outside's gonna be like the outside of a tree uh, for the siding. But um, let me show you what I did here. So, I hung up the basting brush and all of the spatulas, so they're they're right here. They're readily available. Um, I also made a spot to hold the baker scrape and the scrub brush for the griddle and the cast iron skills. You can use it on those if you want. Um, so yeah, the kitchen is all all set up. I, I put the steam bowl down there, but uh, it's funny, the bag that they sent to put all the stuff in, it's not big enough to hold the bowl. It's big enough to hold all of the utensils, but not the bowl. So anyways, um, I'm also going to get some more of these, I think, because these are... Oh, if I don't drop them all over the place. These are little uh, lights that um, have a magnet on them. But uh, at night, you know, you can set it up there and 
you have a spotlight on your table here. So I think I'll get a couple more. I get one to go here as well. Um, and then in addition, in addition to those lights, see, I'll turn it off like that. Uh, I do have these lights here, which are solar powered, uh, and they come on when it's dark. Uh, the solar cell is right there. So yeah, um, next I'm going to take all this lumber here and those two by eights, and I'm going to build an outhouse over there in the middle of those trees. First, I have to build a path with gravel, and then a pad with gravel, and then and then I'll build the, the outhouse on there. So that's um, that's what I plan on getting done today. It is the 4th of July. Um, my family is at home. I'm working on this to make sure I can get it done and hopefully open for booking uh, so you can stay here. Uh, the last weekend of July. So we'll see, you know, it's uh, been a long process, but I'm in the home stretch, almost done. So I need to take all the time that I can to finish it so that I will get my time back and I won't have to be working on this like every weekend. Not that I don't mind it. It's fun. It's cool. I mean, look, look what I made. Look what I made. All of this. But yeah. So let's see, uh, see how it goes. path and the pad for the gravel done or the gravel path and pad I got that done um I don't know it was about uh 12 or so uh wheelbarrows full of gravel plus I had to go I laid down the cardboard and then we got some logs to make sides on it but um I didn't uh I didn't finish all the logs I'll finish that later I got done so the path used to go right here and I extended it all the way out as you can see it's um it's like four and a half foot by like five foot pad right here so the outhouse is going to be like I think maybe four by four uh, I got to see what I want the dimensions to be because I don't want it to be crowded I also don't want it to be too big so it'll be mostly this space right here um and then, you know, when you gotta go to the bathroom, the bathroom will be this far away from the, which is fine. There'll be a door on it and everything, but uh, let me get to building this um, this frame for the, for the outhouse and see how it goes.
okay so this is the dimensions of the outhouse so it's 48 by 48 so that would there's 48 that's 45 that's 48 all those are 45 so the reason that's 45 is because there's an inch and a half here an inch and a half there which makes 48 by 48 and then I got the three supports in the middle, so it's 12 inches on center, which is plenty. And you can see this is a two by four, standing on it, two by eight, two by four. So I'm gonna make, we're gonna make a wall, put it on top of that, wall on top of that, wall on top of that, there, that one. And a wall here with the door opening. Uh, and then it's gonna be a lean to, so it'll be taller at the front than it is at the, at the back. And, uh, We'll go from there. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so I didn't get done what I wanted to get done. <laughs> That's the theme here, uh, but it's okay. It's all right, it's okay, because I did get a lot done. Uh, and next time I'm up here, I'll get more done. And there's not much left to do. So, you know, it'll get done eventually. Isn't that what every husband says to his wife? It'll get done eventually. Just let me, I'll get it done. You don't have to ask me every three months. <laughs> but uh, I did get a lot done. And let's see here. I'll turn this around so you can see it. I built this path all the way up here. And then <clears throat> I built this pad for the frame to go on. And that's a, a two by eight. And I got four by fours on each corner uh, and then two by four, two by eight, two by four it's cross members or joists. And then um, I just used up a lot of my leftover wood. I had very sized pieces of two by four and two by six. So I just cut all those two foot and put them down. Uh, and then I have this, um, this first cut off of the sawmill. I just wanted to put, you know, little rustic spin on it. So I put that in the, in the center there and then I've got uh, decking right here. Uh, and then I got the back wall built, all right? And I got the side and I don't, I don't have any more two by fours. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna have to go to the hardware store before I can do anything anyway. So I got done all that I could get done today. Uh, and then uh, we'll put a wall on that side There'll be a lean-to on top. It'll be a clear um, corrugated plastic roof so to, to let light in during the day. Uh, and then I'll put some lights in there at night. Uh, I think I'm going to put a window in that side and a window in that side uh, so that you can open those up and the breeze blows through. Um, 
and then the front here we'll build a door uh, it'll probably be about two and a half foot wide if I did it three foot wide you know that's not much of a wall there so probably two and a half foot wide uh, and then there'll be a a box back there right bench with a top that opens up we'll cut a hole for the um for the five gallon bucket and put a toilet seat on top and then the five gallon bucket will have a garbage can in it and down in there we'll have some uh extra toilet paper and some pine uh sawdust uh, just to put in in the toilet you know after you use the bathroom to soak it all up and keep the the uh the smell down um but yeah that's it um i did also uh, install all of the kitchen small wares that i bought uh the other day or well, they actually came in through through walmart uh, but there's the there's the top of the roof of the um outhouse uh, i gotta clean up all these scraps i did get fire extinguisher installed and and the steam top actually had a little little hook on it so i got it up there too so we got everything out here the only thing left to do out here is to mount the oven um and then i'm gonna sand this and stain it so it doesn't mildew like that anymore uh, but yeah everything everything is pretty much out here uh everything is pretty much done there and inside the tent i've just got the bed sheets and a couple other little things to put up there uh the outhouse is almost finished well two thirds a third of the way finished uh the outside i'm gonna actually use the first cuts here like this right there uh, and just make shingles all the way all the way across you know shingle 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 all the way up and down the whole outside even the front so that'll look cool um i might throw in some of that tin for an accent uh and then after that gets done the only thing i have to do is run i got a there's a uh inline water filter on there right and then I got to run the water hose over and install the on-demand water system and put these these uh, plastic pieces back up, uh, and then we'll be done. We will be done. Yeah, everything will be done, and I won't have to come out here every weekend like I have been for the past year. <laughs> it's okay though. It's a cool spot, and. Uh, me and my family can enjoy it. Plus, you know, book it on Airbnb, you can enjoy it. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button and the notification bell to see the latest updates that we have. Because I put shorts up all the time. Uh, and happy 4th of July. Today is the 4th of July. It's about 3 o'clock. I got to pack up, go home, spend some time with the wife and kids, go watch the fireworks tonight. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a good holiday weekend. See you next time.